This week's chapter was even wilder than last week's. Let's break it down. It kicks off with Toto showing off his new hand, which is actually an instrument called the Vibra Slap. If you've never heard of it, you're not alone. It's a percussion instrument often used in classical music. The Vibra Slap is made up of a metal rod attached to a wooden cylinder. Inside the cylinder, there are loose metal teeth. So when you shake or strike it, the metal rod vibrates and creates a unique rattling sound. But Toto is using it in a unique way. The narrator explains that Toto has changed the boogie woogie activation from clapping hands to the collision of the metal rod and wooden cylinder of the Vibra Slap. In one panel, you can see Toto slamming the Vibra Slap cylinder against the base or handle. Usually, this isn't how you're supposed to use it, and it's an easy way to break the instrument. So, someone probably helped Toto modify it to make the distinct clapping sound like before. Honestly, this is a genius move for using Boogie Woogie because it's the closest thing to a clap. I did expect him to get a cool robot hand from earlier, but I guess not. The real twist is that Toto can now use Boogie Woogie 50 times in a second. When Toto and Yuji face off against Sukuna, they immediately get to work. Toto activates Boogie Woogie, and they start laying into Sukuna. The narrator reveals that Toto saved everyone last week using Boogie Woogie and a binding vow. Sukuna praises Toto but hates the fact that he's showing up now. In fact, Sukuna says that Toto was the last sorcerer he really wanted to fight out of anyone, mainly because he's self-centered and very hard to track with Boogie Woogie. Since Sukuna is facing curse technique burnout, it's really not looking good for him right now because he can't use any slashes at all, so right now, he has to fight mainly using his hands and technique, just as Toto does. Toto and Yuji then leap into the air, with Sukuna hot on their heels. Toto goes for a counterattack, but Sukuna manages to dodge, leaving Toto stunned. Toto uses his boogie woogie technique to place Yuji on Sukuna's back, but Sukuna quickly throws Yuji off. Toto tries boogie woogie again, and Sukuna begins to sense a pattern, trying to figure out how to counter it. As Sukuna and Yuji trade blows, Sukuna thinks Toto might be bluffing. Then, Sukuna spots one of Mei Mei's crows and suspects Toto plans to swap with it using Boogie Woogie. But Toto was actually bluffing, just as Sukuna initially thought, which lets Yuji land another powerful black flash on Sukuna. Yuji grabs Sukuna by the heart, and as Sukuna attempts to open his domain, the narrator mentions that Sukuna's cursed energy is recovering. Just as Sukuna is about to call out his domain expansion, something appears through the dust. Satoru Gojo. The narrator dramatically refers to Gojo as the ghost of the strongest, hinting that things are about to get even more intense.